New here at 6, a civil rights group is launching a new anti-bullying project. Chicago chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, says some students feel their complaints aren't being taken seriously by school officials. And WGN's Rob Sneed has the details on what the project aims to accomplish. Kids in the hallway would call him Taliban and tell him to go back to his country. That's just one of many examples of bullying care. Chicago says it hears often coming out of suburban Chicago school districts. Today, the organization launched a new anti-bullying effort called Hillsters.org to put a stop to what organizers say is an uptick in bullying cases. Asha Hassan describes the constant torment she says her brother Ibrahim went through as a student at Lincoln Way Central Community High School before his family says he took his life September 3rd. He was just 16 years old. I believe that my little brother is not here today because the coaches, teachers, and students at Lincoln Way Central, because they decided he was too Arab and Muslim to be treated like a human being. To this day, the school has not so much as acknowledged his passing to the student body, sent back his belongings, or reached out to our family. Lincoln Way Community High School District 210 sent WGN a statement which reads in part, quote, Lincoln Way Community High School District 210 has a zero tolerance policy for bullying. In the case of the tragic loss of a central student, a thorough investigation was conducted by both the district and by law enforcement agencies where students, staff, coaches, parents, and local authorities were interviewed. There was no evidence of bullying in this case. Following the tragic loss, students, staff, coaches, and administrators attended the services, and school counselors and social workers met with groups of students to provide support. Administration made multiple attempts to contact the family, but were unsuccessful in connecting with them. The school had none of the students' belongings in its possession at the time of its passing. Zoya Sheikh, a senior at Lyle Senior High School, spoke about being bullied by a teaching assistant. WGN first brought you the story earlier this week. An instructor brought politics, racially and religiously motivated topics into a classroom that were directed towards me, the only hijab-wearing student attending our school currently. Sheikh says a teaching assistant in a health class at the high school ranted about race background checks for, quote, these people and used offensive language when referring to immigration, deportation, and indigenous people on October 25th. Lyle District 202 also sent WG in a statement which reads in part, quote, the concerns raised at the October 25th, 2021 board meeting about a recent troubling conversation with a teaching assistant during one of her classes have been taken very seriously. The situation has been and continues to be under investigation investigation, end quote. Organizers with CARE Chicago say they're hoping Hillsters.org will put a stop to this. If a student is being bullied and needs to speak to a professional for support, there is a 24-7 hotline. There is also a tool to help students file grievances if they feel they are being bullied. This initiative, Hillsters, is going to provide tools for all of the above. There will be cultural awareness training presented to schools in order to help avert situations that we have seen. Rob Sneed reporting. If you want to know more about the anti-bullying initiative, you can go to our website, WGNTV.com.